So today we're looking at the Mobile One oil filter. We'll go over the components, what you're paying for and the extra cost, but also what are the square inches on the filter material? Is it wire backed? I don't think it is, but we, we will find out. And what I mean by wire backed, I'll give you an example of another filter that is wire backed so you have uh, an idea of what I mean here. Now this is made for a 2010 Subaru and we will continue comparing other filters that are all made for the same vehicle. Eventually we will have a list on our website that will show numerous filters made for the same vehicle. We'll go over the components, the square inches, that way it gives you an idea of what you're paying for. So let's start with this guy right here. This is the base plate. This is the part of the filter that meets the block of the motor when you replace the, the, uh, the oil filter. This is, of course, your gasketed material. Whenever you change motor oil, just put a dab of motor oil on the gasket. This allows for a better seal, plus it makes it a little bit easier to remove the filter the next time you do an oil change. One thing to note, take a look at the, take a look at the inlet holes. You have six inlet holes, but look at the diameter. Quite, quite wide, quite thick. Now, if you compare that to a Fram an Extra Guard, you have 12 inlet holes, but look at the difference in diameter. So that's pretty interesting to note. So that's what this little guy right here is, the base plate. Then this guy, this is your anti-drain back valve. This happens to be silicone. Now the reason why that makes a difference is your cheaper oil filters, the anti-drain back valve is made from rubber. Now the, the difference really comes down to temperature range. Now these are rated, I believe, down to minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit and up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And what this component does is when you turn off your vehicle, instead of having all the oil drain back into the oil filter, this allows some motor oil to be left behind. So the next time you start your vehicle, you don't have a dry start. So what you're paying for, number one, in the extra cost with Mobile One and other filters is the silicone anti-drain back valve. Okay. Now, number two, or number three in this case, this component is a bypass spring. Really two functions here. Number one, this stamped piece of steel keeps everything compact in the can, meaning keeps everything compact with the filter, with, uh, with the bypass spring, which I'll explain what this is in a moment, the anti-drain back valves. It keeps everything compressed. But number two, as you can see, you have a coil spring here, and the top of this opens. The whole point behind this is, if this filter ever gets clogged up, or for whatever the, whatever the reason, the filter performance starts to degrade, and you have to keep motor oil flowing, of course, in the motor. What this little device does is it opens up, okay? Maybe under even hard acceleration, this may open up. But it's really a safety device in a sense. Regarding the filter itself, this is synthetic. With your lower costing oil filters, it will be a cellulose or maybe a blend uh, for example Bosch does a blend but this is a synthetic material that's another reason why you're paying uh, more money for these filters metal end caps as you can see metal spine in the middle there we will cut this open in a moment take the square inches and also see if it's wire backed uh, the efficiency rating is 99.9 percent .9%. very very good efficiency rating rated up to 15,000 miles uh, so, for example, if you have these newer cars that, uh, for example, we did an oil change on a 03 Honda, and in the owner's manual, it states replace the oil once a year. So this would be a very good filter for that vehicle. Uh, you would really, so in other words, you're, you're not changing it all the time. You know, once a year, and you're good to go. Again, up to 15,000 miles, synthetic, 99.9% .9 efficiency, a very, very good uh, good filter if you take a look at the spacing it's very good it's not messy in other words that you don't see a lot of glue overspray anywhere so it's a uh, it's constructed quite well you know it's interesting when we uh, looked at the am soil and royal purple there's glue all over the place this is constructed a little bit nicer in, in that sense and then we have the cap right here's the cap what I will do eventually is do a, uh, a thickness measurement the tool I have for that, the battery is dead, and I don't have extra batteries. They use one of you know, those small watch batteries in a sense. But I will take that off camera and put that in the description box just to give you an idea what the thickness of the can is. So, that being said, let's cut open this filter. We'll take a measurement. We'll see if it's wire-backed. And hopefully this gives you a pretty good idea uh, what you're paying for with Mobile One. So here's our filter material. As you can see, it's not wire-backed. Just to give you an example of what I mean by that or a comparison. This happens to be a Wix XP 
and Wix XP is wire back, so is Amsoil Royal Purple, the wire back materials. In other words, you have this wire backing, it goes around the spine. Actually, let me grab the, the spine here. Okay, so here's the spine of the Wix XP. This is made for a different vehicle, by the way. So the f wire backing goes around the spine, okay, and then you have the filter itself, the media go around that wire backing. Uh, Wix XP again, Amsoil, Royal Purple, if you, if you really want wire backing, those are the ones you need to get. But that being said, let me just clean up here real quick. Okay, let me spread this out. We'll take a measurement on the square inches and uh, we'll wrap up the video. So the length, let me get a good hook up here with the tape measure. All right, follow a straight line. So the length, we're at roughly 44, oh gosh, you could say 44 and 9 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, let me see the width. So 44 and 9 sixteenths, let me write that down. Okay, then the width. Uh, let's see, the width is roughly, we could say an inch, we'll go with an inch in this case, there you go. The measurement isn't incredibly precise, the only reason why I say that, when I cut out the filter, I can only cut from where the metal end caps are, in other words, I can't get underneath the end caps and get the uh, all the material out, it's glued in here, there's no way I can get it out, however, this will give you a pretty darn good idea. So the length was 44 and 9 sixteenths, that's roughly uh, 0.56, and of course times 1. So that's our square footage, or excuse me, our square inches is 44.6 square inches of surface material. So the next one that we'll do, I guess we'll do Fram, <clears throat> maybe we'll do Fram or Bosch next. We'll see what that compares with the Mobile One, and we'll just keep on adding uh, to a list that will be uploaded very very shortly. I know I was supposed to do this months ago on another filter I just been so busy, but it, that will be done soon. I'm going to start compiling that tonight So that being said, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time